What's going on everyone? I'm Akeem Lewanson and in today's fix, a new Halo game is possibly in the works. A Stadia game's been canceled after its creator got locked out of his Google accounts and Warner Brothers Games concludes its six year quest for a patent. Let's do this. Now, there appears to be a new Halo game happening according to a job posting or Microsoft career site. 343 Industries is looking for a producer to, quote, help develop a new project in the Halo universe. So we can assume they're not talking about Halo Infinite. Specifically, the listing seeks someone with experience shipping AAA games for the current gen. Of course, there's no clue about the content of this mystery game or project timeline. So let's turn back the rumor mill for just a minute, guys. According to a VG247 story from last November, a now deleted tweet suggested two games were being planned by 343 Industries, Halo Wars 3 and a spin-off about Halo 5's Fireteam Osiris. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. They delayed Infinite a whole year and 343 is already working on a new Halo game. Well, it's, it's very common actually for studios to run multiple teams working on multiple projects and the developers have clarified that Infinite is pretty much finished other than, you know, fixing a few bugs here and there and some polishing. So, you know, that would theoretically leave a lot of their creative team open to start development on another game and probably eager to put Infinite behind them. Yeah. Whatever the new Halo project may or may not turn out to be, hopefully this producer can get things running a little more smoothly than Infinite. Now, ever since July 2020, the next Halo game has suffered setback after setback that has angered fans, man. It's really made us angry. Now, the graphics got roasted so damn hard that 343 pushed the release date back to fall of 2021, and director Chris Lee left the project last year. He was like, I'm done, finito. Wow. Now, more recently, 343 promised regular updates on the progress of Halo Infinite with monthly posts to let us know they haven't forgotten about us. Now, speaking of forgetting things, if you've ever struggled to remember a password after getting locked out of an account, well, this next story may just hit a little bit close to home. Now, the co-creator of Terraria has canceled the Google Stadia version of the game, namely because, well, he got locked out of his Google accounts, all of them. Now, on Twitter, Andrew Sphinx said he lost access to Google Play, Google Drive, YouTube, and Gmail. Now, he says he's been trying to recover the accounts for three whole damn weeks, but he keeps getting the runaround from Google. Now, dude, if, you know what? If, if you forgot your mother's maiden name, you know, just ask. I, I, she, she'd love to hear from you. In his words, he says, quote, I absolutely have not done anything to violate your terms of service, so I can take this no other way than you deciding to burn this bridge. Consider it burned. Terraria for Google Stadia is canceled. My company will no longer support any of your platforms moving forward. He added, quote, doing business with you is a liability. Damn, now those are strong words to aim at the company that probably owns all of his data already. Sheesh. Well, you know what? The problem started for Spinks in January when Terraria's official YouTube account was disabled. Last week, Terraria's Twitter account posted about it in an ultimately futile effort to get Google's attention. Now, on top of that, Sphinx explained that he's lost access to thousands of dollars of apps from Google Play. Now, he says he just bought Lord of the Rings 4K. He bought it in 4K, mind you, and he can't finish it now. Not to mention his Gmail account, which he's had for over 15 years, and he was just about to hit inbox zero and be caught up on all of his email. Damn. Well, you know what? Here at IGN, back in 2011, we gave Terraria for PC a 9 out of 10 review score and a favorable comparison to Minecraft. Since then, the game has come to dozens of different platforms, but now it looks like Stadia won't be one of them. Now, let's just be real with ourselves, all right? Who else forgets Stadia exists sometimes? Is it just me? Well, if it's you, you're not the only one. Google Stadia recently made the decision to shut down its internal game development studios in LA and Montreal. Now, what's really fascinating is that Stadia's vice president and GM, Phil Harrison, cited the success of Cyberpunk 2077 as an example of why Stadia can coast on third-party games. I don't know, man. You, 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 you might want to get 
Google alert set up for cyberpunk news, my guy. Seriously. Finally, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, or WB for short, have patented the Nemesis system used in Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. The patent goes into effect later this month and gives WB the option to maintain the patent through 2035. The patent covers a system using procedurally generated NPCs that exist in a hierarchy, interact with and remember the actions of players, have their appearance or behavior altered by players, and whose place in the hierarchy can change and affect the positions of other NPCs. And yes, that's, that's the simple explanation that I could come up with right here on the spot. Now, it also covers the social conquest battles from the 2017 sequel, Shadow of War, where players can fortify or attack each other's strongholds to test their orc armies. Now, Warner Brothers has been trying to patent this system since 2015, but it had to keep revising their application. Now, at first, there were too many similarities between this and similar patents held by Square Enix and even Webkins. But starting February 23rd, any developer wanting to use all the features described in the patent for the Nemesis system will have to get a license straight from WB. Now, late last year, there were rumors that Microsoft might be acquiring WB Games after Time Warner was reportedly looking at selling off its interactive division. Yeah. Now, that about does it for your daily fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and now that you're all caught up with the news, check out our roast of the Fallout series. It's all in good fun and meant to make you laugh, so be kind in the comment section, boys. We're watching. I'm watching personally. All right, I will leave a comment or two. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com.